Hello guys, my name is Ross Stanley from TS Tech Talk. Today we are going to continue our previous video on Google Contacts. Now we are going to discuss how to manage, organize and rearrange our Google Contacts in, in a proper way which we want them to be arranged from ascending and descending order. And also we are going to group our contacts, we are going to add our contacts into group. For instance, adding them as family or um, friends or close friends or co-worker which other whichever group we want them we could also create a group and manage them properly in order for it to be easier for us to assess okay now let's go ahead and move on to the video let me show you guys how to do it now open your favorite browser or go ahead and open your chrome browser i prefer chrome now go ahead and access your google contacts type google contacts com now um you should remember from our previous video you should always um remember that you have to be signed in in order for you to be seeing all the contacts on your list right now i'm already signed in because this is my system actually so i leave it signed in and if you are not already signed in go ahead and sign in to your account just click on this button icon right here and then it will say sign in actually it's going to prompt you to sign in if you are just opening it for the first time now this is our google contact and this is how it's arranged for us if you can notice it's supposed to arrange from um numeric and descending order probably um for instance this is a one this is two and this is one and this is two these are numbers it actually starts from numbers from one to nine and then when the number ends it now continues from a but if you notice up here it has um it has a g which is above the a so why does that happen i actually put this up here because this is actually my little brother and i always make use of this contact a lot and this one right here is just um it's just a test for our tutorial based i'm going to go ahead and remove it later on now um all we are going to do in order for us to arrange these contacts the way we want to is just to scroll over to a particular area where we want or a particular contact we want and then move it to come back um to come right at the top for us now all you notice if you can notice there is a star icon right here and that star icon actually makes it enables it to which is this it actually enables it to come up at the top if we go ahead and remove this let's go ahead and remove this one let's see what happens go ahead and remove the star icons you can see it notice it's working and then click outside you can notice it's no longer at the top so when we scroll down we are going to see that particular contact in the right place this is actually where it is so now let's go ahead and add another contact let's say for instance z let's scroll right down to the bottom of our contact and and just add um y okay I have this Y, it's at the bottom. Now I want this contact to move right at the top for us so that it's going to make it easier for us to access. Now click on the contact, you should notice it appears right here. Now you can notice this particular star uh, icon that says um, star contact. Go ahead and click on that. You should notice it says it's working. Now, okay, you've start. okay, now finally it's done. Now you click outside. Um, actually have that contact multiple times, so that's actually what's repeating here. So now let's scroll back to the top. Now you can see um, it actually added the contact right here for us. So you can notice um, showing here properly the way we want. And let's say um, we need another different contact. Let's say uh, okay. Um, let's just add any contact. Let's just add uh, this contact. Click on it and then click on the star icon. Click outside. Wait for it to load. Scroll right back to the top. You can notice it right here so that's how you add your contact and arrange them to the top of your other contact that way it makes it easier for you to understand now in order for you to create a label you can go ahead and click on this label icon right here okay next let's go ahead and create a group it's actually called group but in google we call it a label so on this particular section i'm going to show you how to create a group to manage our contacts now all you need to do is to go ahead and click on label because it it allows you if you notice we have some like we have like three labels right here just look at the first one called import which is actually the last time i actually imported this if you remember on our previous tutorial this is actually the first time we did this and we also imported this i think we did it twice and then later on um i use a different device and also imported the same contact so it actually going to duplicate it since we did it multiple times now um in order for us to add more group all we need to do is to go ahead and click on create label 
click on it and then it's going to show you an icon to create the label just in the middle now go ahead and type in whatever name you want to give it let's say family and after typing go ahead and click on ok then you can notice it created a group for us or you can call it a label since it's called a label but I actually make use of group because um, most people are familiar with calling it groups but Google mostly use labels so let me go ahead and create another one and call it friends I know once you're done creating your labels um, if you click on them you can notice um, there is no contact on the labels there is no contact now in order for us to add contacts on the label let's go ahead and do this click on the contacts now scroll down let's just select multiple contacts let's say two three and four contacts and if you have more you can also scroll down to select more once you're done just go ahead and look at the top right here where it says manage labels go ahead and click on that and then you can now choose a particular label which you want to add it to let's go ahead and select on family I know once you've selected that click outside you should notice um, it's working let's wait for it okay finally it's added six families okay and then if you've noticed right here it's going to show you how many numbers it has on it already which is actually six and now let's go ahead and add more to friends also let's say one two three four and five now <coughs> we can also do this the same way and say um, friends and then also make sure to uncheck this one so that it won't be adding it to different areas and then click outside wait for it to load and then it's added up for us and now since it's added let's go ahead and confirm if it's truly existing go ahead and click on it okay you can see that it has all our contacts right here and if for some reason you want to take an action you can see um, remove from the group or you can say remove from the label you can go ahead and click and then remove from label it's going to be removed from label and mind you you should not select delete once you select delete it deletes your contacts automatically entirely from your contact list and you won't be able to find them so we should always make sure to say remove from um, label so that it's going to remove it from label so go ahead and do that also let's go ahead and do this one too um, I remove from label okay now we have only three contacts on our family and you can notice it's changed to three okay now go ahead and click on friends you can also do the same thing if you're interested in doing that and now let me go ahead and um, go back to our main area and then let me select on the label again create and then call this um, a dummy and then say okay now I'm going to go ahead and select multiple people because I just want to show you how to delete the contact also okay go ahead and select the same money label and then select dummy and let's do the same thing also click outside now you can notice you have its contacts on your dummy then in order for us to confirm let's go ahead and click on the dummy and then you can notice these are all the contacts I've added recently so let's go ahead and click back out back out on the application now we are outside of the application now I actually want to get rid of this maybe we made a mistake and want to get rid of it we don't want the contact anymore all I need to do is just go ahead and click on delete label and then you can notice this option don't ignore it make sure you select the first one which says keep all your contacts and delete this label and then the second one actually says delete all contacts and delete this label which is this one but we don't want to delete all contacts we only want to delete the label so let's go ahead and get rid of the label and then go ahead and select delete okay now it deleted it for us and you can notice our um, label deleted label dummy deleted so actually that does it for us and I hope you guys understand this tutorial and then if my voice is very low don't mind me I actually have a um, flu so uh, I hope you guys will be able to understand all I've been saying so far and if you are not understanding make sure to leave a comment below and I'll be able to respond to that as soon as I get it thanks for watching this video make sure you like and subscribe to my channel once again my name is Trust Stanley from TS Tech Talk.